Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're in Palm Springs and we're staying at the Hilton Resort in Palm Springs and we got the second floor room 289 and we're about to show you guys the room review. I'm getting like really good first impressions about this hotel. Like hallways are nice, they're air conditioned. You need key access just to get into the building as well, which is really nice. I'm not sure check-in, I'm not sure what time check-in was. I think it was, it might have been like at three or four or something I like think that. So. But we got here really early. We came out here like at seven in the morning. So <laughs> We showed up like at 10.30ish to try to check in. They let us, so we got lucky. We're finally settled in the room and everything, so let's check out the room. We are on the second floor, room 289. All right, first of all, air conditioning works great. We dropped it all the way low and it's uh, working pretty good. This is Janet's favorite area so far, the vanity area. It's right after the entrance. And you have a stool here, so you can sit out here and do your makeup and your hair. They also have cups and the ice bucket here and then they have complimentary coffee that they give you here and you have your cups and your coffee machine i'm definitely gonna take advantage of that <laughs> and then you have tissue and then a pretty big wide mirror it is pretty big all right so now for the bathroom i'm really digging it i like this door right here it has like a glass door with a wooden frame it's pretty nice you definitely can see through it so i wouldn't worry too much about that and you got a pretty nice tall mirror right here with a uh, side lighting so you get very nicely lit up you get like this granite top right here your usual body lotion shampoo products toilet and then my favorite part about the bathroom is the shower this shower is actually really nice it's a walk-in shower it's not like the shower tubs or whatever i always feel like i'm gonna slip on those things butt naked it's not fun i'm sure it's happened to some of you guys but <laughs> yeah it's pretty nice it has glass doors definitely digging this uh, bathroom it's nothing special except for the shower but it's nice right across from the vanity you have closet pretty nice standard stuff you do have like a little table here with a safe some drawers luggage rack and your ironing board and you do have an extra blanket and pillow and then as soon as you get to the entrance so on your right side you have this tall mirror so you can check yourself out your thermostat works great and then lighting in here pretty much sucks. I have a light over here that's lighting me up, but it's pretty dark in here with the shades closed, of course. But that's one of my pet peeves with coming into a hotel when there's like poor lighting, but I guess it's a thing. But yeah, so you got the bed right here. This is a very unusual like setup. This is a junior one king suite. Honestly, it seems like a regular room to me, but I guess it's a junior suite. We actually met up with our brother-in-law here. So uh, I'm curious to see what kind of room he got. I'm hoping to see if it's, it might be different. Maybe he also got a junior suite we'll see uh the reason why this is a weird setup so you got the bed right here right this is a bed but then you got like this bed frame or this structure here it's just taking up all this unnecessary space for no reason you could have had like extra space in here but i guess it's not that much of a difference but yeah you could literally have someone lay there <laughs> That's how big that space is. Pretty, it's pretty big. But um, but yeah, so you got your lighting here. You got your phone, pretty old school phone, nothing special, some connections right there so you could charge your phone. I do like this right here. This is a desk chair and check this thing out. It's pretty nice. It's like, it has a wood frame, black leather that and upholstering. Yeah, it looks pretty comfy. This thing definitely looks nice. I like, I like this. I'm definitely gonna use it later. And you got a desk right here, glass top, wooden desk with a glass top. And then you got a TV right here. TV is actually pretty big. It's like, I want to say it's like a 55, 60 inch, something. Maybe even a 65 inch. No, it's not a 65. I'd say it's about a 60 inch TV. It's pretty big. Um, you got your standard drawers here. And this junior suite does come with a little mini fridge. Pretty decent size. Nothing too crazy. I didn't even know we had a fridge. Yup, we got one. That's cool. Yeah, so there's a fridge here. But honestly, we always kind of prefer to bring like an insulated uh, bag. We'll show it to you in a minute and just fill it up with ice. I feel like it's far more effective. Like instead of throwing like room temperature drinks in there, it's probably going to take all day to like cool down. Uh, as far as like this area right here, I guess I would call this part of the suite, like the living area. It's, it's pretty big. You got a coffee table here. It's pretty nice, like nice tempered glass it's pretty big and you got a sofa here too which is very wide you could definitely fit three people here for sure and it does have a pullout bed too i love when suites have pullout beds i love when hotels do that hilton five stars for having a pullout sofa on your suite i love that we got our stuff right here then we got this random table on the side of the bed i guess i'm not sure what it's for because i mean you got that table right there i'm not sure what that's about but you got an alarm clock then you got like these custom buttons right here which is pretty unique 
You got like a jazz button, a oldies button, country button, soft rock, and MP3 auxiliary. So this thing is old, man, for sure. It doesn't even have Bluetooth on it. But I guess it's an alarm clock, it's something. Uh, okay, you guys, so check out our view. This room does come with a balcony. We tried asking for a pool view, but we did not get it. It was an extra $75. And we are staying a Saturday night. We paid about, I wanna say like 280 just for one night on a Saturday night in the middle of the summer. Not cheap, but it's Palm Springs. It's definitely busy out here. One thing to note about this suite too is this hotel takes energy savings to a whole nother level. If you open the balcony window door, it's gonna deactivate the AC. So I just barely nudged it and it turned off right now. I thought it might have been a thing where like it'll turn off maybe with like after it's open for like five minutes or two minutes or something but it literally turned off as soon as i like barely nudged it and I, I, I didn't even i didn't even open it an inch <laughs> and it turned off right away but check out our balcony this thing is pretty nice it's big check it out Hi. check out our balcony you get a table here two chairs this is pretty nice how do you like it Jen? i like it yeah right yeah it's, it's pretty, pretty cool pretty decent yeah it's pretty hot out today too it's supposed to be like 116 out here today um and then our view is a branch <laughs> oh yeah we have a view of a palm tree right here if you guys checked out the renaissance hotel review room review um you guys can actually see the hotel from here where we're standing it's right over there and for that one there is a big parking lot that you walk through right here and it will take you straight to the casino which is right across the street from us it's right here <laughs> but as you guys can see we're a lot closer we're literally just across the street um, compared to the other hotel which is still not too far but this one is a lot closer if you guys want to just stay at this one because of the casino or because you guys are going to be a, a little just slightly a little bit more closer to the shops and downtown palm springs this one is definitely a little bit closer than the renaissance all right let's go back inside because it's freaking hot i'm enjoying this ac right now the ac will literally turn off as soon as you open it and it'll turn back on as soon as you close it all the way so just a heads up about that just so you know all right so this resort does have their own restaurant it's called the terrace restaurant and then uh, there's harvey's bar i guess which is now called the heyday bar and they have i think what's called a double smash burger from what i was told by one of the uh, uh, bell desk guys here that people line up for those i guess they're really good yeah and then and then they have a pool bar too so, all right so that's gonna be it for this video you guys i hope you guys found this uh, room review informative if you guys really enjoy content like this consider subscribing uh, we post videos like this uh, different areas like uh, San Diego, Palm Springs, Las Vegas, Santa Barbara. So consider subscribing if you like this content. It'll help us out as well. We're going to end the video with some B-roll of the pool and other parts of the property. So enjoy you guys. Peace. Bye. Bye.